Welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Ron, do you think that the Pirates fans right now would be upset if they did sell kind of like Washington, if they put some of these guys on no. waivers? No, I, I don't because I think the, the playoffs are just all but gone. You know, you still have days before the end of the month. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I think they realize that this team is trying to put something together for next year. I, I think they appreciate the fact they at least went out and made the pitch for Archer and got him. Now let's see if Archer holds up his end of the deal, uh, but I don't think so. I, I, I think that would be a smart business move right now because you're free. Uh, Harrison's not going to be back next year. Mercer probably isn't going to be back next year. If you can get something, anything for him, why not? Do you try to play Newman as much as possible and maybe some of these younger guys? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, not, yeah. I mean, it, it, once you totally fall out of it, yeah. Um, Echeverria is, is still a, a, a great shortstop defensively. Boy, he made a nice play tonight on a, on a one-hop shot. Uh, they still think they're in it. Now another loss tonight. Um, once they're out of it, I give Newman a chance. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd like to see them try to re-sign Hechevarria for like a one- or two-year deal. I don't know what it would cost, but I still think that they either him or Mercer. He's actually hit, too. I mean, yeah. He's hit for a while, and he'd be a nice mentor for the young guys. Yeah, the same th as same if Jordy was here. Yeah, Absolutely. I think so. And if the if the you know the free agent market is anything like like last season, I mean you They're might get, get, get some one bargains of those. on yes. these guys. All right, let's go back out to the phone lines. We're going to go out to John out in Brentwood. What's up, John? Hey, hey, hey I have two points. One, do you guys watch is Terrell Edmonds the number one draft pick? Is he going to be on the field? Is he a starter? He's going to be on the field. That. I don't know if he's yeah, going to start. He's going to get a lot of playing time. Sure. That's why they picked him number one. Good. Because we need the help. My second point would be, how can anybody ever pay to see this Pirates team? I really just have no idea how someone would pay to see the team. Well, if you watched them in July, they were very exciting and fun to watch. Did you see since, how many people Since they the have trade to... deadline, it didn't look like many. Now, the game was delayed 41 yeah. minutes. Although, shout out to Kevin Colbert. Did you see him sitting behind home plate? Uh, he and his son were there, and they were there till the very last <laughs> out. Everybody around him was gone, but Kevin and his son were there. So yeah, Kevin's think, a sports fan. I think someone might have called, called him out on it if he left early. He was there till the bitter, bitter end. All right, let's get out to, um, where are we going? Ronald. Let's go out to Ronald in Bethel Park. What's up, Ronald? Hi, thanks for taking my call. I'm a first-time caller. Thanks for And uh, I just have a quick suggestion for speeding up baseball, and that is to get rid of the Velcro on the gloves. I don't want to pay, pay money to see a guy fastening and unfastening his Velcro gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that would be the Sean Casey rule. Remember when yeah. Sean Casey? Yeah, played? I know. I tease Casey about it all the time. I said, you're the guy that slows the game. To, he'd, he'd step out and do both gloves. Yeah, you're right. These guys shouldn't step out of the box. I thought that was going to be the rule a couple years ago. Uh, there, uh, yeah, I talked to Jim Leland about this. He said everyone wants to blame pitchers for slowing down the game. His theory is hitters slow it down. Yes, yeah, And I think he's ball. absolutely right. Blake out in Plum. What's up, Blake? Blake, you there? Yes, hello. Good. Yeah, what, do you think it's time for the Pirates to do what St. Louis did, replace the manager? I don't. But. Uh, Hurdle's uh, signed for three more years. He and Huntington are both signed. I don't see Bob Nutting paying these guys to do nothing. I just don't. Yeah, I don't see that either. I, I, I mean, I go back to I think a manager is responsible for – you know, five five losses a year, maybe ten at the most. Uh, I don't put the entire blame of what happened this year on Hurdle. I think maybe his hands are tied on some things too, um, maybe coming from the front office. Uh, yeah, I think Huntington gets him the players, though, and he manages them. So uh, who knows how that's divided up? But uh, you know, yet they are what they are. They're not quite good enough yet. They're a mediocre team. Maybe if these young pitchers develop, they have a chance to be a lot better next year. Uh, before we go. So I heard you guys talking about on the radio a little today on my way into work about the DH and Chris Archer hurting himself hitting. What, what, do, do you think That's part of the game? Guys get hurt. I have no problem with that. I, I, I mean, I the league rules. I love the strategy. I'll take the chance on injuries. All right, that's it for us tonight. Thank